Hello, my name is Thomas Pate, and I'm a senior from Westside High School. Slay! And the name of my poem is De Sepulto from The Buried One. What do I stand for if I don't stand for you? Can't feel my legs, my arms, my knees slipping, my mind slipping, spilling over into yours. It's been years since I haven't felt my heart beating in my chest like a cool death has covered my hollowish body. Friends. A miscalculation, the DNA we share is nothing but respect. Is that really all that we are? I've said so many times to so many other people to do what I've done now, and it just so happens to turn out that I'm the only case it doesn't turn out the way it's supposed to. I've delivered many failures to my own front doors, none quite like that of love. I wondered why I didn't feel sad or angry when you said you didn't feel the same way, but I'm quickly starting to see that the only reason is because I can't feel it anymore. I'm shaken. So bad that it's taken me this long to even realize that without everything, all you can be is nothing. It's like the end of me. The end of a long day that puts a grown man to sleep, that tucks the burning helium of the sun into the covers of shadow. I guess I have been preparing for this since that fateful time that you invited me to the mountains where I thought, finally, I could get to know you on another level, friend. I didn't know your curiosity was not for me. Friend, I did not know that your love was not shared with mine. Friend, I did not know that you viewed our memories so differently than me that I was capable of twisting them into some kind of fantasy where we would work, friend. If you knew how hard I tried to make this work, you would grieve as much as me. You'd pour your heart out into my sleep, begging for another chance, begging for the stars to align every night just so that we could meet in person to talk. Just talk. Even talk. It only took me years to get you and me in the right place next to a restroom in a foreign place just for you to tell me that there are other people like you, friend. Your name has a new meaning in my life. Because at least if we were a thing, I could tell myself, honey, we tried. Honey, it just wouldn't work out. Funny how the world works sometimes. Tell me you thought I ever loved him too much, but no. It's not that way. Because happy never after wasn't meant to be. The sun was not meant to shine on the face of night. Maybe I should have waited for an eclipse to kiss you behind the whole world's back, but I did. And yet here we are not together. To think that not only our lives, but our worldviews were flipped, complete opposites of each other, so far to the reaches of the universe that the riches of gold had not formed. Perhaps I had not let our wine age long enough before popping out the cap, but my mind is like a soda bottle. And you were the Mentos. You made my insides bubble, but flattened me like a steamroller when the wine spilled over. You didn't have to shatter the glass on the ground. They sepulch to the universe. Hear me. Hear these tiny bones creaking with desire, with the pain that no one else has wanted to carry themselves. See my torn Achilles tendons burning with the stress of keeping other relationships together. But in a way, it was merciful. Because now I can tell myself, honey, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs>